Hi everyone, uh, my name is Ija Hussain and today I will be presenting a SPFX web part which dynamically uh, generate Office 365 reports using Graph API and has, uh, and after that the data we get we, we have some uh, integration with uh, Chart.js. So uh, to start with before I jump into my uh, the next slide, uh, let me jump uh, show you the what the web part look like, and then we can talk about what's actually the component, what are the components in the web part. Okay, so that's uh, a web part, uh, SPFX web part, which has um, uh, Office 365 reports of uh, uh, for three different areas: uh, SharePoint, uh, OneDrive, and Outlook. So if we talk about the SharePoint, um, uh, the first one is let's suppose we have a SharePoint site usage reports. So uh, so this is a bar chart. So it, it basically by default is loading with uh, seven days. If you if you click on 30 days or 90 days, it's retrieve dynamically basically retrieve the data and re-render that chart. And uh, if you um, so I mean. Uh, it's worth noting one more thing here. Basically, I've also used uh, uh, Material UI here for, for th this tab menu here, uh, and also a few, a few other components which I've used in there for, from the Re React Material UI. So if I go and let's suppose I want to pull up the SharePoint activity, and you see uh, for um, uh, 30 days and 90 days, and then um, you know, vice versa. So you have some reports coming from the SharePoint point of view. So I have like a more than, uh, in, in this tab, I have a more than one uh, charts displaying. So this one is showing uh, total number of total act, total and active sites in my tenant. Um, so yeah, you can have uh, different dynamic options there. And if we go to OneDrive, so again, same uh, uh, different reports related to OneDrive. And if we go to, I think this is really, really cool. So you can basically click on these ones and you can uh, hide those one and just see which one, which information you are interested in. So that's really cool here. And um, so if you go to Outlook, uh, again, this is like a, one of the other uh, uh, reports which are available, uh, um, uh, which is email activity by uh, user detail, and you can see how many emails sent, received, and read. So, um, yeah, so that's, that is uh, my, uh, the web part. And and if we now talk about what's actually in that web part and what are the components, uh, let me go back to my slide. And okay, so we have so what in web part components there are about uh, four um, four different uh, types of uh, different. Uh, uh, scenarios which I think uh, uh, is, is worth mentioning. Number one, uh, tabs, UI, you, you saw uh, coming from Material UI React. Uh, and uh, um, if you talk about uh, Microsoft Graph API integration, now, uh, so I'm going to show you the code afterwards as well. Well, uh, so my Microsoft Graph integration, uh, I have used uh, dependency injection pattern. Uh, uh, I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, uh, Bart has written really, really nice posts about uh, dependency injection pattern. Uh, I'll probably must show you if, uh, let me just go to the code to show at the same time. So, uh, so that's basically uh, the graph, uh, uh, dependency injection pattern. So, if you are looking to uh, have, uh, if you have, you have multiple web parts consuming graph API, uh, I think this is the best approach. Uh, you your different web parts uh, can consume centrally available graph service. So, um, yeah, the course are, uh, the, this repo is available, so you can check. Uh, all, all you have to do is basically uh, uh, create a, a service scope, and then you have those endpoints which I've used, for example, for the uh, SharePoint user report, so you have that endpoint uh, is being used, so you can see which endpoint has been used. Now, and it's worth mentioning here, I've used the better, better version of the reports because uh, the, the, the better version basically provides you a, 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 a ability to uh, tell what, what type of data, in which format of data do you want to retrieve the data, so, uh, uh, and I 
I, I don't think so. It's available in the other, uh, which is the uh, broad one. So I've, I wanted to get in JSON format. So you basically can specify which type of, of format uh, of the data you want. Uh, 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 so that, that's really, really powerful and cool. So you can check basically how uh, these have been done here. And, and um, so, yeah, so that's that. And then um, Graph API permission. Um, Graph API permission to retrieve office specific user reports. So we need reports.read.all uh, uh, permissions. Uh, and um, yeah, so there's a lot of uh, nice uh, um, uh, tutorials out there. Uh, I've, I've gone to the slide with reference. So you can check. Uh, and then the chart implementation based on user reports, so which I use the chart JS library. So let me go back to the code and show you all this in action. Uh, uh, so the, the, that's the graph service we will talk about. And if I um, go into one of the component, which is, say, get SharePoint site user reports. Uh, so what I'm getting here is I'm getting the, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting um, uh, this instance of my uh, service here uh, in this component. And, and then, and then after that, I'm, I'm calling my default um, service to get the data based on my period. We default it seven, uh, seven days. So once I've got the data, uh, I've got uh, this. This is where basically uh, the chart.js. Uh, uh, I'm preparing all my labels and uh, the object for the chart data and other char other chart options. And when it's done, uh, I've got this. Let's suppose I've bar component. Now, this is the one thing I want to mention here because I've used another library. So initially, I was looking to use a, a reusable um, re reusable chart control from PNP. And what I couldn't find, one of the options, because when dynamically I've received dynamically, uh, dynamically low data, and I'm going to click on 30 days and 90 days, I wanted to redraw my chart. Chart. So I couldn't find that redraw option in that uh, uh, PNP reusable control. I might need to look more or probably find that. So why I've, I've done that, uh, I end up use another library, React Chart JS, which basically is a wrapper for uh, Chart Chart JS, and which has a really really nice uh, uh, one of the option, which is a redraw. So every time I click. Uh, and the different reports, like in 90 days or 30 days, is basically, uh, basically automatically redraw with my latest data. So that's a really key thing, basically, if you have a dynamic different option uh, and you want to reproduce the data as well. That needs to look into it. And, and if I, and I've got all components here, SharePoint reports, Outlook reports, and OneDrive reports. Um, and, and if I uh, show you, my uh, manifest file. Uh, no, sorry, config to see if we could see the permissions. Uh, uh, sorry, package solution. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, so this is the permissions you need. Reports uh, dot read dot all, and here is the link working with Office 365. Five views reports in Microsoft. So here are all the endpoints you can see for the reports uh, available under the Microsoft Graph API. That's all uh, from me, guys. Great stuff. Thank you very much, Jazz. Uh, really great demo. Awesome to see that. Uh, some really cool capabilities there. Um, and that is uh, right published uh, in the, the repo for samples, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Perfect.